Hey y'all, I'm back with another video for this week or this weekend. And pretty much it is my one year lock journey video. Well actually, I've been one year and five days locked. Um, July 4th um, is like my celebrated, um, you know, lock journey since I've had my locks. And this is like my third set of locks that I've kept. Um, and the reason why I say third set is because I did have two sets prior to me having this set right here, but it was within like the same two week span. So it's not necessarily that I locked my, well, twisted my hair up, let it lock, take it out or cut it. So it was still like, I was still like a loose natural, but I just kept my hair in like two strand twists, took it out, redid them over, wore my hair out, took them out, redid it over. And the third time I decided to keep them but um, the reason for me doing that was because it was the sizes of the other two set of locks that I had. One set was unintentional. I was locking my hair unintentionally, not really focusing on um, as far as like the structure. And what I mean by structure is not like understanding like the grid pattern of if I wanted one or didn't want one and not sure of like what size I want to have in the future. I didn't pay attention in, to any of that. So that's why I took out the first um, set. The second set was, they were too small, way too small for my life. And they weren't sister locks. Um, they were just like, I want to say half the size of this lock. And that was like a little too small for me. Cause I was thinking at the time that what if I want to retwist my hair and I don't feel like retwisting all of them. So I decided to make something that was conventional, something that was more fitted for my head and for my frame of my head and something that was fitted for like me, like my lifestyle. And I didn't know they were gonna look so beautiful the way they do now. And I'm like really shocked at myself that I've done like a fairly decent job of upkeeping my locks with the little knowledge that I had before until now. And now of course you have to grow and learn more and be more like self aware of what you're doing to your body. And now since I've seen like the progression of my hair, I love it. This is like the best hairstyle I've ever had in my life. And I love my locks more than I love love my loose natural hair, which is the reason why I locked my hair. So I started my hair off with two strand twists and this was like the easier way for me to do it because I didn't know how to do comb coils. That wasn't the route that I was going. I'm just gonna do something at the time that I was used to. And that was two strand twists, which I was like a pro. Like put two strand twists in my head, I'm good to go. I, put, I learned how to put them things in my head within 30 minutes of a wash day. It used to take me five hours to do it, but now my hands gotten so comfortable, it took me like 30 minutes. It was two strand tw twists that I've done. Um, as far as a grid pattern, I don't have one. Um, no U shape, um, diamond part, or the brick square part. Um, I just grabbed and went. And I was reluctant enough to, you know, make it them all around the same size, which is pretty, like I did a pretty good job unknowingly what I was doing. But overall, like this is like pretty much a year outcome of how my locks look. Now I did have like some complications um, throughout the months. You know, we live and learn and I've learned and I'm keeping. <laughs> so the changes that I can say that I've seen over from a month to the third month video that I've made, which was last year, is weight. My locks do have more weight and like it's, they just fall in place, which is like beautiful. Regardless of me having these, um, my jewelry on my hair, like they still fall in place, um, which is a beautiful thing. Cause in, in the past, I used to wake up with my hair like being mushed or like, you know, stuck to my head. And I have to like go in and like spray all this water or all this aloe vera, ju um, aloe vera juice on my hair. And it was just a mess, but now I don't have to do that. I just do like a mist after I got the shower. I just mist my hair lightly and I'm good to go. 
So weight is um, one thing. Um, my hair has gotten thicker, which is, you know, it's going to do that over time. But what aided to my hair be, being thicker is I only retwisted my hair three times out of the whole time I've been locked. And that was only this year. And I did not palm roll my hair. I have flat locks now. So I think that's pretty cool. Like, it was unintentional. I did not mean to have flat locks. But I have them. And, you know, it's, it's cool because they, like, look different. And they feel different. And of course, like you can see that my hair has been dyed even lighter. So I've dyed my hair twice within my lock journey. Previously, I washed my hair frequently before when I was um, first locked. So for like the first three months, I was washing my hair every like four days. I'm like, I just want my hair to lock faster. And I just seen like on YouTube that other people they were locking their hair I mean they were um they were locking their hair but they were washing their hair every day and they were saying like yeah your hair will lock faster the products I was using was coconut oil grapeseed oil castor oil um Cantu um natural line the shampoo Dr. Bronner's um peppermint soap um and I've used conditioner on my hair twice since I've been locked and I've used gel one time and I was one time to lock my hair and would I use again no and there are reason why I would not use gel on my hair but I just want to do it again as far as me retwisting my hair I retwisted my hair three times and the first time I did it was January the second time I did it was February and the last time I did it was March and the first time I did it it was with the gel and it didn't last um, it's kind of expected like my hair is just thick and nothing will really you know my hair doesn't my hair will do what it wants to do I've learned that and I've grown to love that actually because that's how I am so I have to retwist my hair with gel the first time um, the second time I retwisted my hair I just used oil castor oil and this um, third time I retwisted my hair I use castor oil again Another change is I combined two locks, like your girl combined like two locks. And this has been like this for, I would say two months now. And the reason why I combined them was because I felt like down the road, the lock that's right here was gonna get weak. And I want to, to pretty much prevent that issue from happening. But the lock like this itself, is fairly like almost the same size as this so this is strong by itself but it was a little bit smaller than this one so I just combined that to pretty much prevent the issue from happening now I don't mind my um, parts being big because I mean it really doesn't matter like my hair and I still look good like this like I still look good like this so it doesn't matter my size has been shaved way before I even like decided to lock my hair. They've been shaved since I was a loose natural and I start off with the taper cut and you know I just you know decided like to shave it all off and I've been pretty much my sides have been shaved like this prior to me locking my hair so I just kept up with it. For the edgy look just pull my hair back and if I just want like you know Oh, nobody knows that there's a party going on up under here. Then, oop, they don't know, and they don't like. They won't know unless they get close up on me, or just figure like, why is this gone? But other than that, like, I have been like really loving my hair. I just like want you guys to appreciate what you already have. And if you don't like what you have, uh, you can change it um, or just begin to grow to love what you have. I, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. I can keep going and say a lot, but I'll just be rambling and it just won't make sense. But I want you guys to have a good Sunday, have a good week. Enjoy your summer vacation. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful hot weather. Enjoy.
enjoy the sun and like subscribe and you know come back and have a dash of K. I'll see you guys later. Bye.